Yes, 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 yes. Yes, indeed, we're here, we're here, we're here. And we are more than willingly happy um, to be able to assist you with this connection to Jesus today. Because you know he wanted to have a conversation with you as you were reaching out and talking to that beautiful soul that he adores and loves and refers to as his lifetime in Jesus, his older sister. And so he knows <laughs> He knows that journey of hers very well, very well indeed. And he has been energetically there supporting her through her many lifetimes. It's not a coincidence that she has spent uh, her significant lifetimes being female. And this is the prompting he wanted to share with her and you today about his perspective on how you all know the concept to love all and that you're all brothers and sisters, and you're all one, and yet there are still stereotypes of genders that still are limiting you to see the souls beneath the meat suits. And so it is significant how the leaders, the true leaders as we would call them, this is still the Turing Collective speaking as well, it's a group meeting. <laughs> we often have group meetings, even if we introduce one singular soul. They're still speaking as not only their independent self, but also from their perspective of their collective and all collectives that are willing to take uh, place in these meetings. You will hear one voice and you may assume it is one consciousness speaking through the vehicle, but it is much more than that. Just like there is much more souls that are within your physical meat suits we have been trying to impress upon you all the information about the physical vehicle your body easily being able to host many soul essences for significant purposes and reasons and so we say to you that this is all of us still sharing our perspectives of what is holding back humanity and we are saying to some females you feel like you can't step up and be leaders because that is the role of of a male that would be taken seriously and and, and seen and and have a natural leadership role and I am saying as Jesus and all of us are saying the same thing, um, that is not a good enough excuse to <laughs> hold yourself and limit yourself back. Uh, we are saying um, many people don't want to hear and learn from certain genders for significant reasons. Uh, and so this is your inner work. Why are you not willing and being open to listen to a fellow female voice or uh, respect and follow a male's voice? It, it is uh, all your own inner work to see if you still have any hang-ups. Is there an uh, accent that you do not like to listen to uh, that it instantly turns you off for whatever reason that trigger may be? This is significant again for you to explore. You may have noticed that this is not a hang-up or a trigger from this lifetime. And so, therefore, that should suggest to you, potentially, this is a trauma from another lifetime that you have not explored or not willing to explore, or your subconscious does not think it is of uttermost relevance and, and significance to explore that lifetime when there is more pressing upon uh, restrictions and limitations that are holding you back from other uh, traumas that are more significant, you could say. And so... You could continually have more and more sessions if you have had uh, potentially hundreds of lifetimes here because they all have a reference point of a unique experience. And if uh, we are saying the bigger traumas may not necessarily be the dramatic ones where you were brutally murdered, they could be the ones where your heart was played with and challenged and neglected and isolated from and those are the more traumatic ones because remember from our perspective the earth experience is all about the range of emotions and so the physical pains of being slaughtered and murdered aren't as 
impactful to the soul as you would think compared to a jilted lover and so here we are saying this is why people are afraid to have sessions in case they were uh, playing roles in wars I'm very nervous about if they were the murderer or if they were killed themselves these are big concepts that spiritually mm, growing souls and perspectives are trying to make peace with understand and respect um, but we say to you when you find you have killed in other lifetimes including this lifetime uh, you cannot change past uh, you can only uh, have a perspective to learn and grow from and from our perspective you all murderers um, because you do kill bugs and insects regularly um, even on a daily walk you may not be consciously aware and do not therefore feel accountable uh, but your actions have reactions and while that could be easily a life contract this is not for you to judge yourself over you can be mindful but how could you possibly judge others uh, when you have not necessarily looked at all your own personal experiences and interactions with all. And so we are saying to you, uh, some of you are still limiting yourselves to what you perceive is the notion of the correct, in quotation marks, uh, behaviors and reactions and activities that you're gender would and should be allowing you to do and so you must honor and respect yourself your emotions and who you are most to find a true balance to remove any blocks limitations and expectations you have on others as you maintain self-sufficiency morally emotionally attention and love and when you have maintained that then you can easily find inner peace to be able to see where others are at and be able to encourage them to find their own way their own journey their own empowerment and their own growth and so it seems upon um when it is a life that is requiring the range of emotions to experience all the emotions we could say it is uh, logical from the emotional common sense perspective that it would be the females that are nurturing those to soften the raw emotions to find the lessons and the experiences and the significances we see many male influences dismissing emotions completely on their spiritual journey and we find that interesting because they're missing the complete purpose of their spiritual journey you may have concepts of higher sources uh, higher dimensions uh, principles and even morals but when you're refusing to explore the range of emotional um ramifications of each individual experience you are missing the whole point of being human and so how can you truly grow and expand upon uh, and empower yourself to strengthen yourself to grow when you are simply only looking at being positive and with love and that is what you could say and we have heard many of you refer to this as the love and light movement where you only want to focus on love and light and that is it and not even dive into the inner work into the density to the shadow work of the range of emotions that you will feel on a regular basis when you are living in your realities in your routines we are saying this is how you could call someone being spiritually fake when they say the principles of love and light but will refuse to actually look at how to live in love and light how to achieve that which is being able to acknowledge all of being human and the range of emotions and when you're only willing to focus on just being a high frequency loving being without wanting to recognize the inner work of the range of emotions to find balance and pe peace and neutral 
to have respect for all of your range of emotions, to be able to remind yourself and to know once you identify the range of emotions that you're feeling and experiencing from a triggering experience, then you will be able to ascertain what is going on for you and how you are feeling to then give you the clarification of what you need to do to empower yourself, to not have this vulnerability, this insecurity. And so when you remember and remind yourself that you are loved, you are valuable, you are recognizable with your uh, respect of self and your own range of emotions and others may not agree with what you think and feel, but that is really none of your business as you are managing and understanding how you think and feel. You do not need to waste your time to convince others how you think and feel. You don't need to press upon them uh, how they should feel amongst themselves. You can simply state your truth of what you think and feel, um, but you don't need to force others. Uh, we have used the analogy of ice cream flavors. You all have different ice cream flavors. You can still respect and love all who have different ice cream flavor choices. You know that you may not have always had the same flavor favorite. You can grow, you can change, and you can develop. You can also mix and match different flavors to suit your own <sighs> fancies. And so we are saying, check, are you still having assumptions on certain people because of their genders? And check, are you still having certain assumptions on people because you assume that their agendas are coming from a balanced and neutral and well-being uh, state of mind. What are they lacking to see as perspectives? What are they ignoring is an important one for you when you're pondering as someone you're wanting to take advice from. Have they explored all their own personal traits, reactions, their own journey, their own balance, their own neutral if they are not seeming to grow and you cannot see their own personal growth, you must be questioning all. Just like you question and check within yourself constantly, you seem to be more focused on what's wrong with you than what's wrong with others. And while you know it's not appropriate truly to judge others, you are meant to observe all, including self, including others, to see uh, but not necessarily compare. You do not know the life contracts of others, and some of you do not even know the life contract of self. And so getting distracted by judging and having assumptions of how they should be and where they should be at um, is a distraction. Um, and that is clear from our perspective. And so... Some of you are still getting fixated on the details of the Grand Awakening to make people notice that the truth has not always been public and that the full truth of agendas of what certain industries, certain companies, certain families uh, have and want to impress upon humanity. It is um, free will choices. And as you have got all life contracts, which you would like, to have great opportunities to be able to experience and your guides are diligently working to be able to give you all of those possibilities. We see many of you fighting <laughs> uh, against that, um, using your free will. And we are saying this uh, looks commonly like uh, not doing your appropriate focus on your daily lives. Some of your drive, some of your jobs and industries are not appropriate for you. You could be better of service and more grounded in other aspects and areas, and you know that. And we are also saying uh, some of you are too diligent at your job and distracting yourselves from even noticing the people around you who are needing just some compliments, encouragement, inspiration, and epiphanies to be able to help them understand that they can have full power and control over their own lives their own destinies. And we know that you are all fragilely concerned and insecure with talking about the truth that you know, especially when it comes to the topic of the shift to the new earth. Uh, so we are saying to you, help these people now and today 
and don't wait for the shift events to occur. You could be inspiring everyone to find joy and appreciate their lives and to love themselves. A compliment that comes from your heart could be life-changing. We say a smile to strangers could be life-changing. You do not know what the other person is going through and how they're coping or not coping with days. When you do anything from your heart, it is the best, purest gift you can give anyone. And trust that that ripple out effect does sow seeds of inspiration and encouragement and love and upliftment. And so don't ever think that that gets unnoticed. And for you who are smiling and being kind to perfect strangers who are struggling and waiting for an instant abundance to return to pay back (laughs) your efforts, there is more inner work for you. Because you're here to be able to help liberate souls, to empower themselves, and to to be out of the enslavement and entrapments and agendas that are not serving humanity. And while you're not all supposed to be renegades to be able to fight and beat the systems, uh, you can not comply while also not creating (laughs) civil war. And so we say it's all free will choices. Uh, But we say love will always win. And when you're so angry and frustrated and you want to beat the pavements to scream and yell your freedom choices and perspectives that may not be empowering people to find their own truth. It may scare them. That conflict of even a raised voice may trigger them into childhood traumas that you uh, have not realized you have stumbled uh, and triggered them into. And so it's all about delivery. And we have said this to you before. Focus on love. And empowering others to feel love and to be in love with themselves, to want to care about themselves more than anything else that they may be obsessed upon. And we are saying you can throw any worries about doing this correctly because love is love. And now we are seeing some of you are saying to us, well, if we try to show love to our coworkers, they may think that we're hitting on them or at some sort of sexual advancement. And we don't want that. And we are saying, well, is your delivery sleazy? Is your delivery coming from? (laughs) Sending them a dick pic. And we find this hysterical because we know that the the vehicle would find this uh, (laughs) amusing. Because we are not meaning to give you lectures, but we find it um, concerning that we have to mansplain to you what compassionate, unconditional love to each other even looks like and how you can reach a fellow human being, a fellow soul family and a human experience to reach out to them with compassion and, and consideration and care. And you're already worried that they think you're thinking, oh, I can't possibly do that. They will have all of these assumptions of my agenda. And we are saying that is not good enough for you to stop and send love and appreciation and encouragement to those souls who are struggling. And if they did have this misunderstanding that you were trying to wish them a beautiful day, an empowered day, an uplifting day, a day where they they found peace and joy and harmony, if they have added in a sexual advancement or a sexual connotation with this, that is their inner work, that is them. And you do not necessarily know if this is actually going to be the most appropriate way for them to still feel good about themselves. Uh, When they are still so insecure, it's a very primal, Uh, sexual love basic love that they are hoping for and seeking they still haven't ascertained or developed for themselves what pure love is real pure love and so they're still primal and still thinking that um a a statement of love of their 
uh, physical appearances is what uh, love is and what they should be seeking and what they are only seeking. So when you try to give them a pure love of empowerment, it means nothing to them because you haven't told them that they look incredibly sexy and beautiful as they are starting to love and embrace and empower themselves. And so again, this is a reflection of their inner work or, and lack of inner work for them to have a healthy relationship with love, with self, and a healthy relationship of what they're seeking from others in terms of uh, respect and love and honor. And so again, do not stop uh, empowering yourself and empowering others because you're afraid that this will trigger them in one way or another. Here you are stable within your own selves do not worry and limit yourselves for anything because you know your agenda you know you do not have ulterior motives you know you want to empower them and inspire them to be able to gain their own journey of uh, appreciation and respect and responsibility of their own inner work and journey and so are we ascending much sure non-sleazy love to you and if you are still seeking sleazy attention love uh, from anyone including us uh, we can give this to you as well but that is <laughs> um, something you do need to work upon uh, because you should be more attached to the the soul's mm, level of love versus the physical level of love and while there is nothing wrong with exploring your bodies and enjoying your full bodies, uh, check in with yourself. What is your level of love language and what is the level of love you're willing to and are looking and seeking from yourself and others? Rebecca was confused because she <laughs> hasn't quite listened to fully everything we're saying and she is wondering why the sex talk and this is what we were reading people thinking and being afraid of if they were uh, giving compliments of love and uh, respect to others and acknowledging others' hard work and the potential of greatness for all. And so uh, we are saying listen to the session. <laughs> and so we will say this with love to all as we know that you are desperately wanting to get to be given and to get uh, new perspectives to be able to check and do inner work with to see if there is anything that is lingering that is a habit and routine that you have not identified yet as something that is potentially holding you back because you uh, keep asking us uh, what is holding me back still what is holding me back where is the the perspectives that I am holding on to as fact and routine uh, that I haven't explored yet and while we say these are very minuscule perspectives that will um, that don't truly block you severely, uh, we are saying um, this is the level where most of you are at. Um, just absolute fine tuning of your um, perspectives, connections, and inner thinking and workings. And so we say with much love and appreciation to you all. Keep going. Uh, love is key and love is almost the rarest frequency that there is on earth um, because it seems that it is so sacred and rare and valuable and hard to achieve and maintain and yet that is amazing because that's where you've all come from that is where you would all call the frequency of Hon. And so you know when you are coming from a beautiful, honoured place to see each soul in love and give gratitude and inspiration and encouragement to not only yourself, but to all. And please focus on the balance. You cannot truly be of service to others when you have neglected self. Let me say this with love.